Yeah, there's this been a strange lockdown for you. Do you know what? It's mainly been me having bats showing various bands my nipples, so... Hey, hey, why not? Hey, right back at you. Exactly. Hey! That's what we want! Oh, all the mums will love this. You have just dropped a new single, Vultures, which I have to yeah. say, mate, a solid little bounce to that one. Oh, thank you very much, my man. Do you know what I should do? In post, look, what really how professional I am. Here's a little clip of Vultures for you now. I don't care about the weather Cause if time sounds still it's not forever If you say we're not together I don't wanna try Vultures! Oh, that sounded delightful, didn't it? I don't know which bit I've used, but my goodness, that was joyful. I love the bit you just used, it's actually my favourite part of the song, so great choice. Oh, you know what, mate? I couldn't not use it. I do like it, though, because it's like you, the sort of setting of it. Can you talk us through the video a little bit more, where it's, it's like a virtual reality, isn't it? Yeah, we were sort of thinking about the idea of the, the different ways that people consume music now, um, and with the majority of it being online. And it just so happened, I mean, we had that concept for about a month before we shot the video. And then when we shot the video, we went into lockdown the week after, <laughs> which kind of made it a bit... I mean, it just fit everything so perfectly. It, was, it wasn't really the intention. We couldn't have planned for this. Um, but yeah, it was supposed to be a, a sort of looking at how we consume music. But now it's, I suppose, a, a nod to perhaps how we will continue to consume music and live gigs for the foreseeable. I mean, I, I have no idea when the gigs are going to start again. But I think gigs online now will be the way forward for, for the foreseeable. Yeah, it, it's sort of eerie that you predicted it. People are calling it the minority report of music videos already. It's weird, isn't it? We, we struck gold with that. I mean, obviously in an ideal world, there's no coronavirus and none of this happens, but the fact that we managed to get that out there and get that film just before it did happen, it's, uh, it's just, you know, every cloud is a silver lining, as they say. When life gives you lemons, film a nice little video. That's what I always say. Well, when life gives you lemons. And speaking of professionalisms, mate, are you ready for your buff full of the bands quiz? I am so ready for this. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be a minute on as many right. questions as you can get right on WWE as written on the back of my toilet seat. Nice. Like it. <laughs> what was The Rock's catchphrase? Uh, there's many, but if you smell what The Rock is cooking, probably the most famous one. Correct, that's what I was looking for. Uh, Scotty yes. Tupotti incorporated hip-hop into his persona, but what was his signature move? The worm! Yes! Um, what year did he and Grandmaster Sexay win the Tag Team Championship? Oh, God. I'd hazard a guess at 2002. 2000, I'm afraid. Uh, the Undertaker oh. is iconic. But what vegetable is The Undertaker deadly afraid of? Oh, God. I have no idea. It's the cucumber. Uh, next up, what year was the first ever WrestleMania? Oh god, if this year's was WrestleMania 36, uh, 1990 would have been 30, 84? 85, I'm going to let you have it because it's so close. Um, yes! Name one of the 80s icons from outside of the WWE slash WWF universe that featured. Outside of? 80s yes. icons, you say? 80s icons. Oh, I have no idea. Sting, Ring Oh, uh, Mr. T or Cindy Lauper? Oh, okay, oh, okay, I get that. Unlucky, mate, you got one, two, three. Oh, it's three, mate, but that was a tough one, man. I, I went in quite that. hard. I'll take that. That was brilliant. Oh, well, cheers for playing the game, man. But I know you guys are the scruff of big fans of games. You've been, like, going on, was it Call of Duty? With some of your fans oh. recently. Hey. Uh, who just shot me? So far, we have been awful. Oh. Well, we are so bad. But if you're bad at it, that's made me think. Because obviously, if you're bad at it, that means there's a 12-year-old in Germany that is far superior to you on it. So it got me thinking, can we think of some insults for some 12-year-olds? Oh, try me, bitch. Uh, I'll show you book, how to live, laugh, and love. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> oh, like that. I bet your mum's called Karen. How dare you? Your mum packs your pack lunch. You're off the fucking chain. Your dad's got more mates on TikTok. We're up for the banter. I bet you cry over fruits. 
Nice. Well, I'm through today, then we got good things. Yeah, exactly. Why would we buy other fruits? Exactly. I mean, all the strawberry ones are gone. Wow, well, wow. Well, jog on, mate. Stop it. Get some help. Are you up for doing a cover, mate? Yes, mate, I am. I, I've not been watching these, so I'm, uh, I'm sort of familiar with the format, and it's a, uh, yeah, good fun, man. Let's rock. Let's rock today. <laughs>